every gamer out there dreams of building themselves the ultimate gaming setup. And most people think that you need to spend a ridiculous amount of money in order to do so. But you'll find that often this is not actually the case. You could still build a great setup out of more budget and affordable gear and make it look as clean as those ridiculously expensive setups you often see on sites like TikTok and Instagram. And in today's video, I'm going to give you my 8 top tips on cheap ways that you can improve your gaming setup in 2024. So let's dive in. Before we get started, I just want to say a huge thank you because the channel has just hit 100,000 subscribers. Believe it or not, I actually started this channel way back in 2011 before moving into setup and tech in around 2020. It's been a very long journey, but it's been a dream to hit this milestone since the very beginning, so I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody for the incredible support that you've all given me. This channel would be nothing without you, and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. As a thank you, I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway soon, my biggest ever in fact, so make sure you're subbed to the channel and keep an eye out for that. But for now, let's crack on with the video. So first of all, we're going to start with the most important factor in making any gaming setup look good, whether it's a ridiculously expensive high-end setup or a basic budget one, and that is cable management. Anyone who knows me and my content will know that I'm always saying that cable management can make or break a setup and driving home the importance of making sure those cables are organized or at least hidden away out of sight. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on gear to build an out of this world setup if your cables are looking like the office server room. And there are plenty of cheap ways to fix the problem. The first is simply the way you route your cables. For example, running monitor and peripheral cables through your stand quickly neatens them up without even spending a penny and can make a big difference. Then picking up these cheap Velcro cable ties is a great way to bundle things like your PC cables together or any loose groups of cables around your setup. You can also grab cable channels to stick to the underside of your desk to cleanly run cables along completely out of sight rather than having them dangling down behind your desk looking untidy. Or alternatively, if you want a quicker solution, you can add a cable nest which still hides the cables from view, out of sight, out of mind. Command strips are also a great way to stick power strips or USB hubs to the underside of your desk to hide power cables and plugs as well. And finally, if you have wall mounted devices like monitors or speakers with cables hanging down, you can easily hide these with cable channels that are much less harsh on the eyes. Honestly, cable management is one of the cheapest and most effective ways to level up your setup. Another simple yet effective way to improve the looks and appearance of your setup is to think about the layout and organization. I've seen too many setups where people have just dumped devices randomly on the desk willy nilly and not only does it look awful, but it's much less functional. Taking care with the way you lay things out on your desk hugely improves both the aesthetics and feel of your setup. Space out your devices neatly along your desk in a way that doesn't look cluttered. Honestly, sitting at a desk that is laid out nicely and is clutter free actually helps to give you a clearer mind so whenever you're gaming or doing something more productivity based, you can do so whilst feeling more free and relaxed. A big pet peeve of mine is people who leave their headset or headphones on the desk or even worse, hook them over the monitor. You can pick up a cheap hook to go underneath the desk so they're out of the way yet easily accessible or grab something like the IKEA pegboards I use in my setup. This entire display, including the pegboard, hooks and tubs, cost a total of £31 and it not only gives me somewhere to store gear, but it also looks fantastic and adds to the setup further. And speaking of layout and orientation, your monitor layout can be crucial to the look of your setup too. Whether you're running a single monitor setup or have multiple running together, laying them out nicely really improves the look of your setup. Most monitors come with an included stand, but mounting your monitors to a desk arm or even directly to the wall takes up much less space and looks so much cleaner in my opinion. There are plenty of cheap mounting options to choose from and they allow you to remove stands which can often be big and chunky, giving you much more space to work with and improving the overall look. Plus, many arms come with cable management solutions built in too. If you're someone who uses multiple monitors, make sure they're aligned nicely and neatly, close up any gaps between the monitors before you set off someone's OCD. And if you're running stacked monitors like I do, flipping the top monitor upside down is another clever and effective way to improve aesthetics as it removes the thick bezel and gives a more seamless look between your monitors. These are super quick and effective solutions that make a big impact overall. Another way you can really improve the look of your setup is to add RGB lighting. And no, this doesn't have to be completely over the top rainbow lights everywhere, unless that's what you want. 
but adding some subtle things like strip lights around your desk or monitors can make a huge difference. Whilst adding underglow and backlight into your desk really helps level up the aesthetic, adding backlight into your monitor actually serves a functional purpose too as it reduces the harshness of the monitor on your eyes, especially in low light situations and actually reduces eye strain. Plus again, it looks great and adds that little extra to your setup. The great thing with strip lights is you can add them pretty much anywhere like I have behind this pegboard as some nice accent lighting. And depending on which lights you get, you can have some great customization options too. I use all Govi strip lights in my setup and I think they're the perfect combination of being budget friendly whilst offering the most features and customization options for the price. Definitely the best bang for your buck lights on the market in my opinion. And while we're on the subject of adding a little extra to your setup, let's talk about decoration. The best way to make your setup your own is to add things which show off your personality and adding a few simple decorations on and around your desk is an effective way to do so. Things like your favourite Funko Pops or figures can really give your setup that more personal feel. As mentioned earlier, I have this IKEA pegboard next to my desk with a few bits of gear plus a couple of Funko Pops and this racing helmet. I also have the shelf above my desk with some tech wall art pieces, Lego displays and more. Then in my second setup I have these little Pokemon Terrarium jars along with my Venom statue from the Spider-Man 2 Collector's Edition and the matching PS5 controller. Of course your decoration choices will be different but they add that extra personal touch to your setup. But avoid adding too many things or you run the risk of the setup looking too busy and overcrowded. And decorations aren't the only way to spice up the setup with some personality, you can also do that by adding a really cool mouse pad. I've gone through a ton of different designs on my desk over the years and each has showcased a different vibe that fits with the theme of the setup with a hint of personality thrown in. My main setup currently has this nice cartoony astronaut mouse pad which matches the white theme and fits very nicely. And over on the second setup we have this Saturn V mouse pad which continues the space theme because space travel is something that's fascinated me all of my life and I can add that personal side of things to my setup with these mouse pads. There are endless designs out there to choose from so you can easily find something that matches your vibe and setup theme and it really goes a long way in making your setup pop. And to wrap up the subject of decorations is another one you can find all around my setup and that is plant life. Well, life may be a stretch in here as these are all fake plants, but they are a great way of adding a natural and homely feel to your setup. If you're a gamer who spends a lot of time in here, you may not go outside all that often, so this helps bring the outside to you instead. I really like the way that simply adding these plants to my setup has completely changed the whole complexion of it. Without them, it would look a lot more cold and empty, but by adding that splash of green, you get that sense of nature and homeliness that makes you feel a lot more comfortable and relaxed. And personally, I think it really adds to the look of the setup as well. Plus, you can pick up some of these for as little as a couple of pounds in some cases, so they're another great cheap way to improve the look and feel of your setup. The final thing on my list today is one of the cheapest and most simple of all, cleanliness. Chances are you spend a lot of time at your setup, so make sure to keep it in good order. I hate seeing those setups where people have old food and drinks laying around everywhere, dust built up all over everything, spit marks on the monitors from raging at Fortnite. It looks terrible. Take the time to look after your setup, clear up all the rubbish off your desk, give everything a dusting down once a week either with a microfiber cloth or grab a cheap air duster or a can of compressed air and just give it a once over. Wipe down your monitors and while you're at it give the top of your desk a wipe down as well. Vacuum the floor and definitely remember to give your PC or console a good clean out every now and then to prevent dust from building up. Honestly, just taking half an hour a week to give your setup some tender loving care can really make a difference and personally, I actually find it really relaxing to do. It clears my mind and it's a great way to de-stress and when you're done, you actually end up feeling great. So there we go, those are my tips to level up your setup in 2024 without having to spend a ton of money. Keeping everything clean, tidy and well organised goes a long way in making your setup look and feel awesome. And just simply laying everything out nicely and adding some simple decorations to bring some extra vibrancy and personality can really improve it. You don't need the most expensive setup in the world to have a great gaming setup. Just follow the tips in this video and you can take setups of any budget and make them look a thousand times better. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like as it helps support the channel, and drop your thoughts down in the comments as I love reading what you guys think of the content. 
and let me know some things about your setups too. Better yet, join my Discord server linked in the description and drop some epic setup shots in there for me to see. If you're after more content like this, make sure to hit that sub button and turn on notifications and I'll be back in the next video very soon. See you later.